Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your December 2021 mid-month tarot reading. This is a reading for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for your support. I appreciate it so much. And I'll continue to read. I love it. And if you are new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Friday's readings are always a general reading. Mondays are different every week. So one week I'll do a love reading. Today's reading will be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. And then coming up soon, I've got a, tw a year of 2022 predictions. And that's really fun. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right. What advice do you have for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Gemini need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Gemini. All right. Here we go. All right, so we will begin here with the tarot and then we'll have the angel answers oracle cards as well. Your current situation, you've got the wheel of fortune. The immediate influence is the two of cups. You've got the six of cups in the destiny, the six of pentacles in the distant past, the 10 of wands is in the more recent past. You got the seven of cups coming towards you. You're represented by the knight of wands. You've got the knight of cups as the person or situation that you're attracting. You've got the Five of Pentacles and your hopes and fears. Queen of Swords and the outcome, I actually like that with the Seven of Cups. And I love the bottom here. My God, this is awesome. This is really interesting to have three major arcana all lined up here. We've got the ju we've got Justice, the Empress, and the Chariot here. So we have here Libra, and we've got the Wheel of Fortune too. So we've got four major arcana. We've got Libra, Cancer here. Um, we've got all the fixed signs. We've got water, earth. I've got all the elements. Okay, sorry, looking at the cards a minute. Well, I do feel like you're going to move forward here. There's something here that's like the universe makes all right. All is right in the world. All is right in your universe, Gemini. This is the kind of energy where you almost can't catch a struggle. Justice comes in and really restores any balance. If there's been anything that didn't seem fair, and somebody, maybe somebody mishandled a situation or mishandled you, they will get handled. You don't even have to take care of it. You just focus on what's ahead of you and great things will come to pass. You know, the, the sword and justice, it's upright because it indicates a successful conclusion for you. So normally we, when we, when the queen of swords has it too, by the way, um, when we start to pull cards like that, it doesn't work against us. Okay. It's not a decision that you're going to be devastated by. This is like, and if there is a decision you're waiting on, it feels to me, it feels in this case more like the truth, okay? It feels more like that than necessarily a legal thing. But I would say with the Queen of Swords, she's also the card of the attorney. If you're waiting on something that's legal, it is going in your favor because the Empress offers luxury, okay? She offers an energy of love. She's ruled by Venus. So in terms of relationships moving forward, you have wonderful aspects for that. She is the mother of the tarot, of course, so we know she is an energy of fertility. Um, but she's an energy, too, of great creativity, of expansion, expansion, growth, um, any, any kind of development. Threes are wonderful energy in the tarot anyway. Threes and sevens, you like to see that here. That three will give you that energy to multiply. So whatever it is that you're trying to do, if it was some kind of a work-related endeavor too, that also expands with the energy of the Empress. But I do feel like what I like about her is she kind of softens justice and the chariot. When you're in this kind of energy, people feel love when they're around you. They want to help you. They want to work with you. She's that kind of, um, you know, that energy where you just feel warm. You've got the, she's got those open arms, right? And so with the chariot being here, that is law of attraction energy. You're manifesting. You're manifesting in conclusion, but it is in your favor. 
And so with the chariot here, the chariot controls those sphinxes with its mind, with its mind. It really is about having confidence, successful conclusions, being in this place where really nothing will stop you. So whatever has happened, this has already been set into motion. So I can sit back, enjoy it, enjoy every single minute of it, because you've got this wonderful driven field of influence and protection all the way around you, Gemini. Nothing to fear here for sure. So we've got a turn of events here. If you're single, I, I feel like you're not going to be for long. You got somebody that comes in and maybe you are getting a divorce. I don't know if it was an end of a relationship. Somebody that comes in, it just sweeps you right off your feet. I mean, the wheel of fortune is an energy of change in your favor. Things are changing, they're developing, they're expanding. There's a nice momentum here too. If you're already in a relationship though, it's like it just evolves and develops here. It's taking it to the next level. And it's really seeing an opportunity, the world in front of you, like the world is your oyster. The two of you are like, I wanna say partners in crime, although I don't mean that literally. Your partners, your soulmates, you get each other and you have very similar interests, especially if travel is one of your interests. I definitely see you going out, seeing the world, being adventurous, doing new things together, trying new things together. And you've got a, there's a nice compatibility here so that you, you know, if one person wants to do something, the other person is not a stick in the mud. They really do a nice, they have a nice balance for your energy. So with the two of cups, it's a, definitely a soulmate, a deep love. It's really being best friends, but in a, a job situation, you may have some changes that come in that are, are going to bring in m many more opportunities for you. Um, it's like there's opportunities to make more money, make gains. It could be a raise for somebody. And it may be, too, an acknowledgement if you've been loyal and committed to a job. They see that and there's going to be money coming your way for your loyalty. When the chips were down, if you were there, you know what? They're going to see it and repay it. Okay, so wonderful energy for you. Uh, so with the... Um, Six of Cups here in your destiny. Very reciprocal energy. You have it twice here too. Um, but this is that, finding that connection in life, you know, finding those good friends, people around you who help you out when you need it and being the same kind of person in return. You get what you are, okay? So I do feel like those of you that really understand that, live that way, you're gonna find that if you've attracted things that you go, God, that's not really what I think I am. Why am I attracting this? Things will shift, okay? Because this is really an energy of having caring and love. And like I said, people have your back in this kind of energy. In terms of a relationship, too, I still feel like you have a very high level of compatibility. And that might be part of your destiny in general. Like, you won't stick in things that are not a match and try to make them work. But you're automatically here attracting things, too, that are a good match for you. So you may just allow that to be. Just leave it where it is and say, yeah, I, damn it, I attract things that are a great match and I'm high vibrational. So, of course, this is a great situation. I feel like you have a very positive kind of growth mindset energy. You know, when people start saying insane, crazy, negative, limiting belief thoughts, I feel like you'll tear out of there so fast you won't even sit to listen to them. Now, with the Six of Pentacles in the distant past, again, I feel like if you were a loyal employee, it's going to be recognized. This is like in the past and it's being, you know, helping out where maybe you didn't need to. You know, you could have sat back and said, I'll just collect unemployment instead of doing this. Or, um, you know, if you needed help in some way, maybe you were unemployed and somebody gave you a job when you needed one. There's definitely a reciprocal energy here, a give and take and a balance. It brought great stability into your life. I do feel like, though, you put in some work, especially with this Ten of Wands. Still in the past, though, guys. I mean, this is an energy that... Um, it's more like the payoff from this. There's a bit of a struggle here, okay? Those wands are heavy, and so I do feel like you made it through. If the year or two has been very challenging for you, that last little push is what set you free, and it's that recognition, too, because wands are all about expansion and growth. They're really not necessarily about efforting. I mean, really, there's a magical quality to a wand, and so it might have even been your own recognition of, hey, I'm efforting, I'm using too much of my conscious mind here. I need to just let the subconscious work and know that I deserve the best. I don't have to struggle like this. And so with this Ten of Wands, it got you where you needed to be, though. I mean, it can be to the right use of will. So I would kind of be, you know, 
remiss in not pointing that out. It, it could have been too just that shift in mindset and looking at I am creating my own reality. I've created this and I think I'm going to create something that's a little bit easier than this. Um, too, I, again, I feel like your dedication has been spoken to here. Whatever you stayed true to and dedicated to, there's definitely a payoff coming. Your loyalty is seen, felt, and appreciated. So with the Seven of Cups here, there's decisions coming up here. You know, this one is all about using your discernment, which is why I liked the Queen of Swords popping in because the Queen of Swords is very decisive. So you won't make a bad choice because this can be kind of confusing energy where there's sevens are positive. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we like sevens in the tarot because they, uh, their alignment, you know, that's about being triumphant in, in having a successful outcome. So I do feel like they're telling you, you've got decisions to make, um, but use, you, you rely on your intuition because sometimes we argue with our own intuition. And how many times have you done that where you said, damn it, I knew that was going to happen and I did it anyway, or I went with something I just didn't trust. You know, this is telling you, take those rose-colored glasses off, be open to new solutions, be open to unknown or uncertain things, but use your intuition always, okay? Use that as a guide. I mean, you have an interesting mix of using intuition and reason, which is kind of nice because we don't ever want, you know, to just throw logic completely out the window, right? Um, so with the uh, Knight of Wands, this represents you. You're ready to move. You're a busy energy anyway. You like to have a lot going on and be doing, seeing things. And so with this Knight of Wands, that gets you out there on the move. You may have uh, more social opportunities with this. You may even find that you get to the point where you say, I got to slow down a little bit. I'm going out a little more than I'd like to be. I'm starting to maybe spend more money than I'd like to be in doing that. And so you might end up finding yourself pulling the reins in on this one because um, that does get you moving at quite a fast uh, speed. And sometimes in this energy, we just don't think clearly. Again, I like fire energy, so I'm not putting that down by any means um, because it does give you motivation. So if you're too, if you're saying, well, I, you know, I've been kind of going to the gym to counteract some of my social activities. There might be a bit of a balancing act coming in for that too, just more of a grounding energy. But with the Knight of Cups, this is who you're attracting. It's heaven sent with those wings on the helmet. You know, it's something that you've wanted. It's somebody that you've wanted. They represent integrity, trust, pure of heart. You know, it's somebody who has great intentions. They're not here to do anything nefarious. They want love, okay? They come from a place of wanting love, wanting love in their life and manifesting it. Now, if with the Queen of Swords there, if it was anything from a legal situation that you were dealing with, I do feel like the situation shifts. There's not nearly the tension because legal situations can be very low vibrational energy because it brings in a lot of tension. This releases that, okay? So it's an environment where you feel like you can be in growth and harmony, trust, and again, when we're dealing with anything legal, sometimes there's mistrust, right? We're feeling like we have to be a detective on a case in our own life. This is that shift and it brings in a place of peace. You know, it's really being in a place of like, now I can move forward. I hear somebody taking a big breath. It's like that big sigh of relief, knowing that, hey, I went through that and now I'm into this other space and it sure does feel a lot more comfortable. So with the Five of Pentacles here, this is your hopes and fears. The Five of Pentacles, it does represent a change. It's activity, it's shifting, it's process, it's mind over matter though. And so with this, they are together. You're not being, you know, you're not isolated here. It's We always hear it's left out in the cold because it's snowing. It may just be a change that you're not completely sure about. It's that uncertainty that kind of makes us freeze up a bit, but it's happening either way. And so with this, it's about knowing, like looking at your counting your blessings, looking at what you have and manifesting more of it, allowing the door to open, allowing new opportunities to come in. Because when we stay in the same place, we get stagnant. I mean, that's life. We got to move forward no matter if we're scared or not. Do it afraid. That's what they say. So with the Queen of Swords here, Gemini, it's your energy, by the way. So we've got you and your own energy. And it brings in this clarity, this sense of... Uh, you know, seeking the truth. The truth is coming out regardless. And I do feel like it's a successful conclusion for you. So if somebody wasn't completely above board, you know, that gets rectified. Like I said, you don't have to handle anybody. The universe is doing it for you. 
Um, she does have a witty sense of humor, so your sarcasm rating might be up, you know, higher than usual in this energy where you're kind of quick with the comebacks, but that's okay. Everybody likes that. Um, she can be a little harsh though, so be careful of that. The, sort of that sarcasm teetering on the border of passive aggressive, or it could be somebody that you know too, where they're kind of like that. But either way, it's mental clarity. It's having great communication because the Queen of Swords is a wonderful communicator. I mean, you get the point across in that energy um, and it's clear, you know, you know where you're going, you know where you've been, you know where you're going. So with the uh, this, let's get the angel answers. Angel answers for Gemini, please. All right, so we've got here, be assertive, okay? And with the Queen of Swords, that shouldn't be too hard. And the King Knight of Wands, look for a sign. Those signs and synchronicities are how the universe communicates with you. The universe doesn't speak through words. And the universe will meet you where you're at, what you can interpret. So they say recovery, it's that mind, body, spirit, moving forward into a new cycle. You're ready, they say. And you've got choose a new direction. So sometimes with that, um, it really is just about clearing your mind and allowing the universe to be your guide. Know what you want and feel like you have it. And that's the key to it. So good things are on the way for you, Gemini. I love you and I'll be back again soon.